So I know that you like to nerd out on all the science, Trevor. Obviously, we like to have things in our clinic that are evidence-based. Yep. So there seems to be absolutely copious amounts of studies appearing on the benefits of red light therapy. And there's there's clearly been people who have been working behind the scenes probably for decades in this arena. Centuries. Uh, yeah, well, yeah, absolutely. So where are we in terms of evidence base for the the types of units that we're seeing starting to pop up around the place one of the things whether we want to call it low level laser which was something that came historically um and and that's just a historical thing in the involvement of things like led the only way we can get that the intensities without generating the heat so back in the day it was low level laser or cold therapy once led started to getting more and more efficient we started to get into arrays and and and, and all of that if there's pubmed and you're very familiar with pubmed being in that, that med medical space where you review all your documentation and get all your clinical studies. At the moment, we can pull around about, it's, it's between six and 7,000 uh, peer-reviewed papers associated with photobiomodulation and the effects of photobiomodulation. Even if you think about simple things like seasonal affected disorder, so you can relate it straight away, there's um, you know probably about two or 3,000 of those are on neurological disorders and, and things like that. That sort of resource base really feeds into a, a greater understanding as to why you know we're seeing the uptake and why you know it is delivering the outcomes that we've been talking about. And, and that's the refer, referral reference space that we tend to go back to. It's again, the reference space that I'm sure in a medical space that you would go and source a lot of your data as well. 